Hello everyone. Um, the laptop which I have is the NX six three one zero, and in a minute I'll show you what is the error that comes up. So if I put it on, laptop was manufactured around nine years ago. So if you can see, as soon as I boot it on, suddenly it gives you the error one zero four unsupported wireless network device detected. System halted. Remote device and restart. So as you know, this device is built in, so we cannot remove it. Uh, you know, it's not a plug and play device. But I have found an alternative to it, which probably will help you as well. So for this, we would have to actually open up the laptop. So let me first turn it off and flip the laptop over. So you'll see this panel here, which is actually used for um, you know changing the RAM out as well if I just turn it around and it's held by one screw so we need to just remove this one screw to open this panel up so just give me a minute while I open it up uh, just a point here you'd need a, a Phillips screw a, a narrow one it would help if you have a multi uh, screwdriver set like this one so as you can see just give me a minute while I open this panel up. Okay, so we see here that you know I've opened up the screw and you just need to put another sharp object to open this panel up. So if I open it up, now what you will see here is one additional RAM DIMM which I've which I've inserted into this laptop, which is a 1 GB uh, DDR2 RAM. And this is the card which we are talking about. So as you can see, it has two uh, you know leads of the antennae here which first have to be removed so I'll just have to you know remove this out as you can see it's so I have removed both the leads and just below that you'll see that there are two screws okay so if you focus this would be one screw and the second screw which will uh, you know release this particular card so just give me a minute while I open up that screw okay so I have removed these screws okay and if you release it you'll notice that the card comes upwards so this card can be replaced it is available on eBay and, and other websites or even at other computer stores but uh, to be very honest I do not want to buy a new one instead I would want to use something like this which is a which is a uh, you know a USB uh, N card N150 which will do the job for me okay, so just give me a minute so what I've done is now I've removed this card and once you remove this card all you have to do is um, you know close back if you if you have another card then you can replace it and it would work just fine or in my case since I do not want to Keep this card inside and have a USB Wi-Fi uh, dongle uh, I would just simply close this panel all right so just give me a minute while I close the panel and let's see if the PC boots up all right so I have closed up this panel and tightened the screw okay just one point that I forgot to mention it would always help if you remove the battery okay, of the laptop before you do these activities so that it stops um, you know static from uh, ruining some other electronic parts inside okay so let's flip it over and let's see if it boots up I have Windows 7 installed on this system so as you can see it's booting up Windows just fine so you can use this method to either replace the Wi-Fi card or insert a dongle and use it in that way as well thank you everyone if you have any kind of questions you may put it down in the comment section thank you